In this fascinating video, I visited the Maypen Cemetery on Spanish Town Road in Kingston. Coming up. Here it means that somebody take this beautiful angel and show the head over here. They beheaded the angel. Somebody is somebody trying to work Obia. Somebody trying to work Obia. They light fire on the grave. You can see the clothes of the individuals that they just dashed out right there. And let me say, viewers, this question is, a, is advised at this time because I'm going to show you something that um, is a little disturbing. Alright guys, welcome again to Jamaican chapter, I'm Nigel D. Salmon. And in this chapter, I'm coming to you from Maypen Cemetery. Yes, and I will be touring this cemetery to, you know, just understand how it is. And to also find the graves of some famous People who you know are renowned are buried here. A lot of famous people are buried here at Maypen Cemetery. So I will be touring this cemetery and you know get an understanding of what Maypen Cemetery is. This is my first time here and I'm telling you guys I, I'm sure I'm gonna be liking it. I'm gonna be liking it. It's very cool. It's relaxing here. Some people say, oh, you know, Maypen Cemetery can be dangerous. <laughs> well, coming here, I don't see anything pretty much that's that, that going to get me alarmed. It's, it's nice over here. Very nice. Look behind me. Even a mango tree bearing. <laughs> All right. So let's go and tour Maypen Cemetery and see if we can find some famous graves over here. As I said before, it's a huge cemetery. You come here, you're not even quite sure, like, you know, where to start. It's a huge place. And a place with sad stories. Look at this here. Uh, this grave was digged out. Obviously, that's human hands did that. And it's the grave of... Clarice Alvaranga. Oh, Clarice Alvaranga. And uh, uh, it says that she she died in April nineteen sixty. Clarice Alvaranga actually died on April 22, 1968. So I made an error when I was reading her grave, and, and that's because of the state that it is in. She died age 56 at her home at 1 Oliver Road, Kingston 2. She was married to a Joseph Alvaranga, and they had six children. According to her death registration form, she died from congestive cardiac failure due to hypertension. This photo of her was taken from the Gleaner obituary. All right, so we keep going on. And right over there, that's the grave of a teacher, a Rastafarian. And the reason I can say that is because um, someone who worked here told me earlier on. And his name is Abona Emmanuel. 
Asento Colonel. Abuna Emmanuel Asento was president of the Imperial Ethiopian World Federation, IEWF, and was also overseer of the Church of Hail Selassie. He died on April 20, 2020 in the United States after he went there for treatment for an illness. There was effort to have him buried in the National Heroes Park, but um, this effort failed. So he is now buried um, in Maypen Cemetery. Okay, you can see how his grave look. You know the colors of a Rastafarian. And some of the graves are all covered up here. Here's a grave that's all covered up. Nothing memory. Oh my god, look at my hands. And here I pass in the grave of Craig Daly. He was shot, I think he was shot in Stony Hill. Yes. And I think it was some sort of reprisal, you know. Talking about violence in this country. You know? A lot of the graves are either covered up or um, you just can't make out who was buried there. Over there. So Maypin Cemetery is a cemetery that started back in the 1800s. The 1800s. Um, and it has continued ever since. You'll notice that more, most of the recent graves, and I won't say recent, I'm not talking about five years ago, you know, I'm talking about like You know, maybe like, you know, in the 19th century com coming up, you'll find that most of the graves, they are buried on top of the ground. They're buried on top of the ground. And the older ones, can I find an older one? Are, are close, are down into the ground. There are many famous people who were buried here. Look at this one. This is from like 1950 something. And it says Samuel Manessa Daly, born August 31. 1883 and died January 3, 1957. Samuel Manessa Daly. According to an article published in the Gleaner on Saturday, January 5, 1957, Samuel Manessa Daly was a senior technician at the Bacteriological and Pathological Laboratory in Kingston. He died at age 73 while having a shower at his home in Kingston. 
According to his death registration form, he died from cerebral hemorrhage due to cardiac failure. His funeral took place at Kingston Parish Church before his body was buried here at Maypin Cemetery. And his grave is right here. It's not up on top of the ground like that one over there. I think in my in my opinion, I think they last longer when they are down closer to in the ground. But this one here says Mistress Louise Weatherman who was called to the to highest glory, blah, blah, blah. Um, this grave, oh my God, they, they, it's rowing. You can see that the structure was built, something was built around it. And then, you know, over time, it got neglected and it's now in ruins. Right, so what's that over there? I like that. I like that design. I'm gonna take a look at that. Well, let me see what this is. You know, it kind of look like a bus stop. I'm gonna take a look inside. Oh, oh my word! There's nothing on these graves. You know, it look as if someone was sleeping in there or something. There's clothes. But this this was obviously um, sealed in. You can see it was sealed in and maybe some homeless person or something. Or someone, maybe a homeless person, went there and just knocked it right off. All right, I like the design of this one over here. Look at this one. I'm not sure what this is. Um, oh, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm sure it is a grave, but there's nothing on it for me to know what it is. That's a nice design. Neglect. Okay, there is a grave up here with a guy's a drawing of a guy. And it says Damian Scott, 1995 to 2020. Ah, oh, he's he was young. He was young. He was young. So he was like 24 years old when he died. Oh. Maypen Cemetery. It is one of the oldest cemeteries in Jamaica. Look at this here. This got my attention as I'm passing by. You see this? <laughs> you see this in a cemetery and you're like, okay, somebody is somebody trying to work Obia? Is somebody trying to work Obia or something? <laughs> You see a face basin and some jug of water and all kind of stuff going on right there. Who knows? I <laughs> uh, gotta be careful now because I don't want to fall into something and then I can't get out. So... There are many famous individuals who are buried here at Maypen Cemetery. Can I find 
any. I found the grave of Collie Smith, famous cricketer. I'll make a separate video for him. This video is really just walking through Maypen Cemetery and documenting how it is as well as you know read some headstones Also, see the graves of little children here, also. All right. When Maypen Cemetery started out, according to the history, um, you know, it was a wonderful place to bury people. You know, it very come. Oh, look at this! They break it up. It's, it's as if someone is coming and literally breaking off this grave or something. You know, this is beneath a mango tree. Mangoes are bearing. Singers are buried here. Actors and actresses and famous businessmen and a lot of people. Are buried here. All right, so I'm getting close to, and remember guys, I don't look first and then record. Uh, in this case, I'm just recording and finding out as I go along. Look at this, I, I was passing this and I'm like, wow, take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is, Wow, this is obviously a beautiful headstone. Oh, that angel is lovely. Let me see who it belongs to. I can't figure it out. The name is there. It's, it says, oh, oh no, I can. Let me see if I can make out who is buried here. It says, in loving memory of B I C H A R D. Oh, Richard. Richard White, born December 8, 1832, died April 10. 1835 no 1895 so he was born 1832 died 1895 and his name is richard white i like that they carve it in it instead of writing it because 1895 i mean that's a long time in 2024 that's like 129 years ago 
and they each on this here they say Sanders like like they would say the company that carve it look at this carving and it seemed like i'm not sure why they would put a female um well of course he's male and they put a female angel and they wrote something down there about his body at sleep i love the the, the material that's why it lasts so long you know i'm not sure if this is what granite I don't know what to call that, but the hands is gone. The hand, one of the hand, the two hands are gone, actually, of the statue. And it appears that one was also here beside him. And it says, in loving memory of Louisa Ann White, who died April 9th, 1907 age 70 years and it had some writing there so maybe this was the wife of richard the both of them are white i'm gonna do some research and if i find anything i'll show it i show it here oh okay okay hold on so there were two two angels um what? Louisiana, Louisa Ann. Her was here. And that's Richard. So her um, angel, it fell over. Okay. But it has been a long time, 1907. So this is her angel. Hello, angel. It, it fell over. Or maybe it was pushed over, you know some scumbag come here and might have pushed it over so her hers would have been right here resting here and it was pushed over as i said nothing lasts forever isn't it nothing lasts forever but i'm sure at the time a lot of money was spent a lot of money was spent to to put the boat of them here and they seem to have come from well-to-do families. And it's grilled around, so it means that it was a family plot. All the way up there, come right down here. And it's grilled around where the two angels would be. And there are more than one, more than two um, graves inside of this grilled, down, grilled around area. But as time went by... You're talking about it. she died in, in, in 1907. Everybody who came to that funeral would have been dead. So as time went by, it fell into neglect. Right, let's continue. So we're approaching... Um... Okay, I think I've noticed this grave from off the internet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is the grave of Christopher Coke, son of Jim Brown. Yeah, man, he was the son of Jim Brown. Uh, let me see if I can get to read it properly here. So it says, In loving memory of Christopher St. Abin Coke, Chris Royal died May 3, 2005. And there's some writing there on this side. The grave of Christopher Coke called Chris Royal. All right, so that's Christopher Coke, and beside him, we find the grave of 
one of Tivoli's strong man who died. We are talking about Lester Lloyd Coke, Jim Brown. Let me let me show you. Let me show you how it looked. This monument here in Maypen Cemetery. So this is where Christopher um This is where Jim Brown's grave is right here. And look inside, we see it says In loving memory of a devoted husband, father, grandfather, and son, Lester Lloyd Coke, Jim Brown, born August 7, 1947, died February 23, 1992. And it says, Our hearts still etch with sadness, our secret tears still flow. We will always cherish your memory forever, sadly missed by mother and other loved ones. JB. So this is the grave of Tivoli Strongman. Chris, um, Jim Brown. So right beside Jim Brown's grave inside this monument, we see the grave of Mark Anthony Coke, Jati. Yes, Jati. And it says, in loving memory of a dear one, Mark Anthony Coke, Jati, born. Uh, what's that now? The 10 of the 2? Or is that the 2 of the 10? Figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. So. I think it's the 10 of the two. So he born the 10 of the two, 1967, died the two of the two, 1992. All right, so, so he was the son of Jim Brown. He was the son of Jim Brown. And he died while Jim Brown was in prison. Uh, uh, before Jim Brown himself died. So the boat, this is a family monument. A family monument. So all the coke you hear. So you have Mark Anthony Coke. Over there, you have the father, Les Lester Lloyd Coke, Jim Brown. Um, this must have been a woman in the family. And then beside, outside of the monument is that the grave of Christopher St. Arbin Coke. So this, this is a Coke family here. And something got my attention up here. Attention. This is the grave of... No, no, puss. <laughs> no, no, puss. I saw a photograph of this on the internet, but now I'm looking at it here. Here in April 2024, I see that piece of it has been smashed off. So maybe one of his enemies or somebody came here and snap, snap, smashed, smashed it off. But it still can be read. It says, in loving memory of a dear son, and I believe that would be brother or maybe father, David Miller Nunopos. Born June 7, 1967. Died August 31, 2008. And it goes on to say, a rose is still a rose in our garden. That is very precious to us. 
you are loved beyond words and missed beyond measure. You were a legend. I've seen some YouTubers cover his story you now. He was known as, in simple term, as a bad man. <laughs> this is the grave of Nunupus. I, I'm going to see if I can find a picture or a video of him so you can know who I'm talking about. The grave here of Nunupus. All right. We are close to the road here. We are close to the road here. I can see school children. School children over there playing. Okay, so that must have been the Tivoli school, right? I think so. It must have been Tivoli school. I'm not going to go anywhere close over there. I'm going to just turn right back here. I can see this one here. In loving memory of a dear beloved husband, father, grandfather, brother, and uncle Fitzroy Robinson called Bonnie, Bonnie, what? Crocus, C-R-O-C-U-S. He was born in 1953, died in 2014. So here in Mapen Cemetery, you'll see that people of wealth were buried here. People of wealth. Why, where am I walking? What if I fell in something here and, and hurt myself? I need to see who's buried here. This this is very this is keeping up. Let me see who this is. Ah. In loving memory of our dear mother and grandmother, Mina Brown, who passed away September 7, 1971, to live in the hearts of those we love is not to die. Okay, Mina Brown. This is dangerous. This is dangerous because... I'm not sure what I'm stepping on, but. All right, here's another grave here. It says, in loving memory of our beloved mother and grandmother, Maud Vosper, who departed this life, 25th of October, 1970, age 76. That's a ripe old age. That's a ripe, ripe old age, Miss Vod, Miss Maud, pardon me. Hold on, I think I know this picture. Or maybe not. In loving memory of a dear son, father, brother, and grandson, Devioton De De Blake Dave born September 3, 1979 died March 8, 2000 God takes our beloved ones from our homes but never from our hearts sadly missed by loved ones so that's a photograph of him here I'm going to search up and see if I can find anything on him. So it's Davey Oton. Oh, Davey Oton. R.D. Davey Oton. R.D. Blake. All right, Davey Oton. Okay, this head got my attention. 
somebody broke this head off. Somebody broke this head off. And it's very heavy. As simple as you see it here, I can't take it up. I literally can't take it up. It's very heavy. I wonder how they're able to put it all the way over here. Sure it's not breeze that blow it off and it fell over here. It means that somebody take this beautiful angel and show the head over here. They beheaded the angel. Oh, God is angry. God is angry. <laughs> oh. All right, let's continue on. You are watching Jamaican Chapter with Nigel D. Salmon. Here's a grave here with two graves with with um two graves with crosses. Um, one of them fell off or maybe was pushed off because as I said, it couldn't be breeze that blow it off, right? And here you have Amanda Louise Slosh. Uh, let me draw that closer. So here it is. Amanda Louise Slosh. Born October 1853, died July 1928, and Louise Ivan, born July 1892, died February 1893. So there must have been two grave, two persons buried in the same little grave here. And then beside that, we have the one where the, the cross fell off. And that belongs to another slash in loving memory of. In loving memory of. Sigis Mod. If I'm not pronouncing it right, you see there. Sigis Mod Leopold Slash died the 9th of August 18. No, sorry. He was born. The 9th of August 1846 died the 4th of January 1921. So it's the Slash family here. The Slash family. And that's a long time. One dying in 1893 and the others dying in the eight others dying in the 1920s. <laughs> Everybody who was at that funeral died out by now. This person didn't have anything but somebody wrote in it and says um, they just put the date of birth there. Ah, now I figure out where that head came from. Now I figure out where that head came from. It came from this one. I'm sure it must have came from this one. Look at it. It must have come from this one. That head that we saw a while ago. Someone knocked it off and it ended up all the way over there. And whose grave is it? It says in loving memory. It says in loving memory of Alexander Futado, F E U. I can't pronounce that. You know, that's some maybe a white family. Futado. Merchant of the city who departed this life on the 22nd of November 1906. Okay, so he was he was a merchant of the city. I'll see if I find anything on him. And his grave was this beautiful um, angel and some scumbag came here and knocked it off.
Or maybe they had, but how, how, how was, how did they head ended up so far? You know, you always have to wonder how, how, why, how did it end up that far? Whew. All right. So. Mm. At the time when those people were buried, you know, over here was like this cemetery. You know, the cemetery to bury your loved ones. But as time went by, it, it was abandoned. And, you know, I love to just scrape away the dirt from something and... This one says, In loving memory of a dear husband and brother, Roman Rose Green died the 5th of December, 1971, age 73. Roman Rose Green. You can just imagine that day when this funeral was happening. The grave is still a beautiful grave. You can see that um, it was tiled off. It was tiled off, but over time, here they believe in a grave. I'm sure this must have rested at the foot of it. Uh. And there's another grave that is all caved in and broke, broken in. So it's like you don't even know. You don't even know. It's all broken in. All right. Ah, here's another grave here. All right. I like the scraping off and discovering. Say, in loving memory of a, de of a devoted husband and father. Darius Holmes, okay, Darius Holmes, who departed this life the 26th of September, 1967. Okay, Darius Holmes, if I find any photograph of him, I'll show it. And there's a grave right beside him here that's all ruined. Makes me wonder how how did this grave reach to this ruin? You know? I'm coming up here to a Rhoda Dushin. I've never heard that a last name like that. Rhoda Dushin. And here on the top of it it says in cherished memory. Of a dear wife, mother, and grandmother, Rhoda Dushin, the 14th of the 4th, 1920, to the 16th of the 5th, 1992. Alright, so I love the way how they did, they did these ones. It's resting right here. You don't have to look over to read it. Oh, 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 hold on. This is another Dushin. It says, in loving memory of Arnold Dushin, February 1926 to 2011. So I did some research and found out that Rhoda Dushin was living at 3 DC Avenue. Denham Town in Kingston. According to her death registration form, she died from hypertensive heart disease at the age of 72. Arnold Dushin, who is buried beside her, was her husband. And he is in this big tall thing here. I 
and behind Rhoda, there's Rhoda. Hello, Rhoda. All right, so right behind Rhoda, we have Samuel Keith Dushin. He was born June 27, 19. Hold on, let me zoom that in. He was born June 27, 1949, which means he could easily have been the, 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 the son of Rhoda. Because at that time, Rhoda would have been about 29. And he died 2013. Yeah. So the Dushins are here. The Dushins are here. Somebody said... I should try to find the grave of Don Drummond. Well, I spoke to somebody earlier on and they said that he is buried in the Papa section and he said it's way down there. <laughs> and he said it in such a way like he had no interest at all. You know, and I'm standing here, I'm looking down in a grave and I'm seeing funeral clothes. Look at that guy. That's funeral clothes. Somebody disturbed the dead there. Mm -hmm. So Don Jaman is buried here. But the problem in finding Don Jaman's grave is that he was not buried with... Um, he was not buried the way that... For example, you will see this. You have this grave, you had the, the writing on it. That's not how his, he was buried. At the time that he died, he was in, um, he was at Bellevue Hospital. Because remember, after he killed his girlfriend due to his mental illness, um, he was committed to Bellevue as what they call a, what do you call it again? insane criminal or something like that so he's found insane and was held there and there were controversies as to how he died and what he died from and all those kind of stuff okay so here we have another grave that's broken into you can see the side of the caskets you know you can see the side of the casket but the part with the face the part with the face is broke, and I don't think somebody did. Maybe someone stood on it, and it broke. It broke right in. Then here's another one again. Ah, oh, this one is... Ah, oh, let me see it down there. See, that's the side of the casket right there. Oh my word. Ah, not sure who is buried there, but the casket is all exposed. I don't think I should be coming all the way over here. I don't know looks a little dangerous oh this looks a little dangerous to be coming i don't know what's happening but if over this side it's like all the cast all the graves are broken into it's like all the graves over this side is broken into look at this one again Then you look over there. Look at those ones over there. I see this empty slot. I don't know if anything is there. I don't want to fall into anything. But look. Individuals have taken disadvantage of this place, man. Look at that. All broken into. Everything, almost everything over this side. So this is broken into, that is broken into, 
I, I heard at one point the, the parish council was saying, oh, they're going to repair, they're going to repair. How are you going to repair that? Here is a grave of Rohan Goodison. And I'm taking some risks now. Look, look at me. Look at where, where I'm going. You know? Things could happen over here, you know? Bad things could happen. You know? Maypen Cemetery, Maypen. When I was coming, one of uh, uh, the, 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 uh, um, a taxi cab who was carrying me, he told me, he said, man, be careful of those places, you know. Okay, so here's the grave of, um, said, in loving memory of our dear mother, Lillian Marita Sutton, or a Marita Sutton, born October 17, 1906, died December 29, 1961. You survive. I must say that, Miss Sutton, you survive over here. You survive. Obviously, there's nothing done to your grave. Just beside it, all those rubbles. You survive, Lillian Sutton. 1961. If I can find a picture of her, I'm gonna show you. You see all those bush graves and graves and graves and graves. Graves and graves and graves. So you see why it it is probably impossible to find Don Drummond and Keith. Simith, Slim Simith, because these are people who were not given proper headstones. And if they were even given proper headstones, who knows? They probably, their graves probably suffered the same fate as some of these other graves. Here we have the grave of it says, in loving memory of a devoted husband and father, Gerald G. Groves, died the 7th of June, 1961. And he was just aged 33. And here we have, said in... In fun and never fading memory of Mistress Vera Watson, died on the 23rd of June, 1974, age 74. Can you imagine? You died in 1974 at age 74. <laughs> and beside her is a grave. This look really funny. Don't you think? Why is it that there's dirt shown inside of this grave? Almost look as if somebody's trying to cover up something here. You never know. You never know. Look at this grave again. Broken into. Oh my god. Oh. This one look as if it survived. Oh. says oh let me see who it says ivy may chaplin she died um september 2 1958 her headstone is still surviving all right guys so i'm rounding this video up to a close uh this cemetery is hu really huge absolutely huge i mean you could walk you could walk you could walk and you could just keep looking and looking and looking i saw this beside behind me and here we have something that was really a nice monument that was ruined like somebody 
actually started fire or something. Oh my God, that's an open grave. Like somebody started fire right here and they messed the place up. Based upon the design of it, you can see that in the beginning, people were, the, the, the people who build it, they really build it to last in memory of their loved one. But what happened that the, the, the sabotagers or vandalizers, what you want to call them, they light fire on the grave. You can see the clothes of the individuals that they just dashed out right there. Absolutely horrifying, horrifying, horrifying. You know, I know when you died, when you die, there's really no feeling in this body anymore. There's no feeling in the body anymore. They can burn it, they can whatever, because you're not in it. You're not in it to feel anything. But it's still, it's still a disgrace. You know, a place that started out to be the resting place is not really a resting place for a lot of the people here. The, the, the Maypen Cemetery, it was left to just fall into ruins. And beside this horrible place is they're just more open graves. And they're just falling apart. I was walking down, and let me say, viewers, this question is, is advised at this time because I'm going to show you something that um, is a little disturbing. Okay? So if you don't want to see it, you can skip this video maybe two minutes or so on. But here is a grave. And I can't tell whose grave it is because it's all broken in. And what you're about to see is how this individual's grave was all broken into. And guys, it's horrifying. It's horrifying. He's all decked out in his suit. In this coffin. And here is the grave of this man. Uh, based upon his hair, it's obvious that he was an old man. And someone who was not that tall. And he's just looking up into the the sun. You know, everything. His legs just bone right now. And his face. This this just does not look good. It's horrifying to see this. Horrifying to see this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to close it up with that. Part. I think that was the top of the, the casket. So let me see if I can look at that plane. I, I tend to see a lot of them passing since I'm out here. So what I'm gonna do for this man who I don't know and can't tell who he is is so reach for the, the top of the thing here the top of the the casket you can see it was all made up of board and I cover it now uh, okay some dignity right there And there's a grave beside it also that is broken in. It's a terrible state here at Mapen Cemetery. This is my tour of 
Maypen Cemetery. One of the oldest cemeteries in Jamaica. If you have a loved one who had died years ago, I'm talking about years ago, like in the 70s, the 80s, and be below that, you might have a hard time finding them because even the records for this place is a mess. Even the records for this place is a mess. And even the, some of the recent graves, they have no writings on it. People, sometimes I think these individuals, they forget. They forget that they are going to pass. That this generation is going to pass. And... Those who have the knowledge, they are going to also pass. So if you don't like make some kind of writings on the graves and those kind of stuff, what's going to happen over time is that when you die also, nobody will know who was buried at a particular place. To be honest, I would never bury anyone over here. Never at all. Because the place is not being taken care of. Anyway. <sighs> Alright guys. I'm leaving out to the gate of Maypen Cemetery now. Um, don't think I'll ever come back here. To be honest, yo, uh, uh, all right. So I'm gonna look now, get a taxi now, or a bus, whatever the case is, it may be, and head back to Saint Elizabeth. Yes. All right, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe for more interesting videos like this. My next video will be on Rista Benji. You know, Rista Benji will sing song like Want the money, give me the money, yeah. I'll be going to his grave next. So that's why I'm encouraging you to subscribe, like, so you're able to see these interesting videos. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.